Hello, hello, squires. Um, how have you all been? Of course, you can't actually respond. I pretty much made this, uh, this mistake quite often, so uh, ignore that. I'll tell you how I've been instead. I've been great. Um, I thought I should probably do a video for you guys because I haven't actually uh, done one in ages, and I definitely haven't done one for my new home, which I would show you, but it's actually quite a tip. Which I would like to say is out of the ordinary for me, but it's not. It pretty much looks like this all the time. Um, I've just kind of got like a bean bag with a blanket covering it that pretty much takes up the whole room. And there's like some stuff on the floor, and then there's some bags of washing and some piles of washing. There's generally loads of crap around the room. But why don't I just show you a little bit anyway? Now that's this wall. That bunting lives up all year round, just so you know this was not just for the Jubilee or the Euros or anything like that. Um, this is kind of my living room. Um, that's my picture wall. It's very good. You should be very jealous. Then we got a kitchen over there, the bedroom through there and whatnot. So yeah, that's my home. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'm loving it here. My burger phone in the background there as well. I just thought I'd point that out. Um, oh, we're stuck. There we go. Um, so yeah, I thought I should probably let you guys know what I've been up to, uh, which is actually not that much. Um, it's, um, I tend to flit about a lot these days, so I don't kind of, like work-wise for example, I won't do just like one job forever and ever or for a particularly long time, because, you know, obviously I did that for so long, and now what I want to do is cram as much as I possibly can into as little amount of time as possible, um, so that's what I'm doing at the moment, I'm being very selective with what jobs I choose, so I don't want to be stuck in one place for too long or stuck doing the same characters over and over again. So I'm just trying to broaden my horizons, if you like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, a job I just did, actually. I did um, a short film um, called The App, and it's going to be great. Um, it, we kind of filmed in Travel Square all day. It was very wet and very rainy. Um, but, you know, we saw some of the footage when we went to dub it two days later, and it looked absolutely brilliant. So, um, so I'm very excited for you guys to see that, because I'm going to need your help. It's basically going into the Virgin Short uh, film competition, and if it wins, it kind of does like all Virgin cinemas um, for a year, kind of showing as an advert. So um, that'd be quite nice. Um, but yeah, so there's kind of two first places up for grabs. One is the one that the critics choose, um, so they you know kind of um, decide which one they like best. You know whether it be because of the dubbing or you know the effects used. And then there's another one. Hi Facebook. There's another one uh, which basically is kind of social media one. So the one that gets the most shout outs on Twitter and the most likes on Facebook and Google Plus and the most views on YouTube. So that's where I'm going to need your help. When it finally comes out, which should be a couple of weeks time, I'm going to pester you and pester you and pester you. And I need you to share it with everyone you know, tweet it, shout about it, do whatever you want. But just make sure that people see it. A, because I'm really proud of it. B, because I know the people who made it are really proud of it already. And C, because I want it to win. Um, so that would be really cool if you can help me with that. Um, what else have I got? Uh, oh, I'm having like the most amazing weekend ever this weekend. I'm going to see Stone Roses in Manchester. And um, yeah, it's funny because we're doing it on a low budget. Because we thought instead of spending loads of money on one gig and that weekend... I'd rather spend as little money as possible and then go to more gigs on more weekends and festivals and all stuff like that. So we're kind of doing the train um, instead of driving and parking and hoteling and stuff. We're just training it back early in the morning. So I'm going to be pulling the first all-nighter without actual sleep, even like half an hour. You know, that's going to be the first one I've done in a very, very, very long time. I normally can catch 10 minutes here and there, but this time I'm determined to play it like a 13-year-old girl at sleepover and just be like, yeah, stay awake. So that's going to be interesting because I'm um, for really sorry for James, who's going to have to kind of put up with me the next day because I won't be much fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I actually haven't got that much to speak to you about. Not, no offence, it's not like I don't like speaking to you guys or whatever. But purely just because I'm just chilling at the moment. Just spend some time at the park or in town, seeing friends, catching up with people, um, and honing other skills that I have, you know. So I've been 
playing a lot more music. You know, got the old guitar and the piano and stuff like that. So doing a lot more music, seeing what I can get written. Um, I'm writing some other bits and bobs as well. Um, and just generally thinking, right, it's hot outside. Um, I don't just want to be one of these people who just wants to crust in the sun all the time. I want to kind of get really productive. The sunshine makes me happy. I tend to have really bad days in general when the sun goes away. So when the sun's out like it is today, I have to really get very proactive and start utilising all my skills and just go, ah, let's just do something. So that's what I've pretty much been doing. Um, now, I basically want to know what you guys have been doing, I suppose, um, in the sense that I am basically want you to chat to me in that respect. Um, so basically, I want to know if anyone's going to any festivals, and if so, what festivals are you going to? Are you looking forward to them? What clothes are you going to wear? blah de blah, blah tell me everything you want to tell me. Um, I want to know what holidays people are going on, because I'm not going on any holidays this year. Um, I'm just doing festivals instead, so we thought, right, all the money we'd have spent going abroad, let's spend going to festivals instead, so kind of instead of going to the Canary Islands again like we did last year, we're going to festival, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be really jealous of your beach time, even though I would much prefer to be in a field with music and all that. I'm still jealous of your beach time, so I want you to tell me about your holiday and make me feel as jealous as possible. And also anyone who's you know, got any exam results coming up in, I think it's August they come out, um, so GCSEs, A-levels, AS-levels, whatever, um, I want you to tell me about them. And if you've got an A-star, I shall give you a shout-out. Uh, don't lie to me, though, because God sees you, and it's not really good for the soul, lying either. Um, so, yeah, don't do it. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, I want to know. Um, shout-outs, as far as they go, I've got one to do today. Actually, I've got a few. No, no, that's a big lie. I've got one Twitter shout-out to do, um, and that is for Carrie. Uh, her username is at Carrie Beal. I want you all to follow her and just send her love. She's pretty much like my biggest fan ever. She lives in Australia, um, and she's never been to the UK. You know, would love to come over to the UK, but, you know, as much as I would love to just go to Australia as well, it's not really, uh, it's not really a good time to do that. So, um, it's bloody hair. Really should have thought about just scraping it all back, but never mind. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Carrie because she's fabulous and we love you. So yeah, that's for Carrie. And then also, um, I don't know, you know, some of you might know the news, some of you might not, that my mother is having another baby. Um, so I get a fourth little sister. So that's five girls that my mum's had now and no boys. Um, and that's due in October and I'm so excited because I can't wait to meet her because um, I'm sure all of you have pretty much seen all my pictures and tweets and stuff about my littlest sister at the moment, Annabelle, who is four and is gorgeous. Um, and she's also my goddaughter, and I love her with all my heart. Like I do my other sisters as well, Daisy and Jess, love them. Um, I'm a proper sister at heart. Um, but I just know that this next sister is going to be just as fabulous and just as cute, and I just kind of want to meet her now and hug her. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on all of that as well. Um so yeah, in the meantime, festivals, holidays, exam results, that's what I want to know, either write in the comment box underneath, or tweet me on Twitter, it's at I am Mel Teaser, um, and yeah, just chat to me. Um, yeah, if I'm feeling good next week, I will let you know how my weekend went, uh, if I'm not, it'll be because I'm probably still crusting from the weekend, so yeah, I look forward to speaking to you again, au revoir. <laughs>